Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Rashmit Kaur, who after two years of gap from her graduation, have finally cracked a job as a Power BI developer and most importantly as a fresher in a big four firm, which is Ernest and Young, that is EY. In this video, we will discuss about her journey, about her resume, which helped her to get this first job, how she crafted it. I will also ask her to showcase in front of you. I will also discuss about her project portfolio which also played a crucial role in getting this first job. We'll also discuss about how many rounds happened, what all things were asked in the interviews. So this video will be very important for you. So do watch this video completely till the end. So let's start the video. And before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. At the same time, you can also follow me on Instagram, learn with gigs, where you will find job related updates regularly with short videos on data analytics domain and friends. Do hit the like button of this video because your one like will give me the motivation to create more videos like this. Now let's head towards the session. Hi Rashmit, how are you? Uh, hi Shashank, how are you? I'm good. I'm also doing good. So I have already given the introduction to the audience. So let's start with the first question. So, uh, so Rashmit, can you tell the audience about your educational background? Uh, yes. Uh, firstly, Shashank, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to introduce my journey as a data analyst. So coming to my education, uh, I finished my schooling and completed Bachelor of Computer Application in 2021 with 82%. So uh, did you have like, did you get any campus placement? Uh, no, because uh, uh, during COVID, uh, no such company, uh, you know, reached our college. So. so what was your plan or like, what did you do after your graduation? So uh, Shashang, basically after graduation, I started preparing for CAT examination and uh, alongside the exam preparation, I started tutoring 11th and 12th grade students uh, due to my passion for teaching. But then my journey took an exciting turn as I switched my career towards state analytics uh, as I didn't uh, secure an admission in the MB colleges that uh, I aimed for. So this is my journey. So how did you get into data analytics domain? Like why did you choose uh, data analytics? Okay, so after uh, my MBA plans didn't work out, uh, I decided to explore some opportunities uh, that align with the current demand, right? So I found data analytics as one of them. Okay. Also, the problem solving skills that I developed through the entrance preparation uh, made me transition into this field as a part of my career. So Rashmit, what all skills did you learn as a data analyst, as an aspiring uh, data analyst? Okay, Shashank, so after researching the role thoroughly, um, I identified the importance of SQL, that is a structured query language, Power BI, a data visualization tool, and advanced Excel. So as I was already familiar with SQL, as I'm from a non, uh, as I'm from a tech background, right? So uh, to just to enhance my proficiency in advanced topics, uh, I decided to uh, uh, follow the Ankit Bansal channel on YouTube and uh, leverage the websites like Hacker, Rank, Lead Code uh, to solve some advanced level queries, right? So after uh, completing the SQL portion, I moved to Advanced Excel. For Advanced Excel, uh, there are topics like pivot tables, charts, and conditional formatting. There are various topics that are required uh, for being a data analyst. So I just started exploring the topics and uh, I watched, you know, uh, random YouTube videos for a particular topic, right? Okay. And then for Power BI, uh, you know, I can't thank you enough for the, uh, uh, you know, for the resources we are providing on your YouTube channel because that really helped me in my journey, right? So uh, for Power BI, I followed your channel and some random YouTube channels. I don't remember uh, the name exactly, but yeah, your channel, Learn With Kicks. I okay. followed that channel during my preparation as well. And then okay. I leveraged the, uh, you know, website Kaggle, where uh, I have uh, imported the data sets, dummy data sets to work upon, to showcase my abilities, to showcase my knowledge, to gain some hands-on experience. Yeah, so this is a website uh, which everybody can leverage. Uh, if they don't have any to job create, or to create sure. the pro to create the projects right in different domains. Yes, yes, to create create projects. Yes. Okay, in Power BI. Overall, how much time did you uh, took to learn and prepare all these skills? Uh, to learn all these skill skills, basically, it took me uh, around five to six months. As a fresher, like freshers are always curious, like how to prepare a resume, right? Yes, yes. So you have already got the job as a fresher, and most importantly, you've got the job in a big four company that is EY. Yeah. So how, how did you craft your resume, which basically uh, helped you to get the interview call from EY? And that's if possible, a good question. Yeah, and that's if, and if possible, can you please share your resume also so that everybody can be can take uh, help from that? Sure, Shashank, that's a good question because what I believe is resume is resume plays a very important role while applying for jobs, right? 
you have all the skills that's great but how you are going to showcase them in your resume in your portfolios that what matters the most to me right, right. so okay uh, could you please allow me to share yeah, my yeah, yeah. that yeah so let me share my screen yeah so shashank this is my resume that uh, uh, i have made uh, for applying for the jobs right so this is my linkedin url Okay. right i highly recommend having a strong linkedin profile because ultimately recruiters keep an eye on your work on your content and they will hire you on the basis of that as well right, right. definitely you will have the skills but how you are going to showcase them that what matters the most so then after linkedin portion then comes a summary section summary section should be concise right right i've seen many resumes that contain five to six lines of summary but it should be concise right so summary will uh, summary basically means tells a brief introduction of yourself like how uh, quickly or how efficiently you are able to uh, introduce yourself right right and then comes the skill section yeah that's basically, a very important part yes that's very important part right so for sql uh, what a major skills uh, i have learned and for advanced excel same for power bi and same for python so i have listed all the skills over here right and also you have used the keywords related to every skill yes. right this session what happens is that as you know that the resume is nowadays are it is friendly right right so it should be uh, it should be uh, made in such a way that particularly resonates with the job description so what was right? your it is score uh, it was around 85% okay that yeah. is fine yeah yeah so because it matters the most right, right. in order to get the calls from the company so these are the these are all the skills that i have listed over here and then comes a work experience as i don't have the industrial work experience but yeah i have done few internships with the big four companies so virtual internships i can say and then comes a freelancing part uh, as i said uh, while learning while completing my learning i started freelancing right i got freelancing projects through linkedin only right okay. so i have mentioned my freelancing experience as well So, how did you get the freelance uh, kind of work from LinkedIn? Uh, Chishan, I got the freelancing uh, projects opportunity from the LinkedIn itself. Like, how uh -huh. did you get that? A uh, few uh, clients approached me uh, after they uh, they see my work on my feature section of my profile, and they were quite impressive. So, they wanted their projects to be completed by me. So, they assigned me their projects. So, so you can what? you can check out uh, Rashmi's profile, and you will get to know why. those clients approached her and that uh, and as she told she got this because of her work that is showing on on her linkedin profile so you can definitely check out her profile yeah even i have never used any freelancing website like upwork or fiverr for freelancing i got the projects through linkedin only so if you have a decent profile on linkedin and if you are showcasing your work you are showcasing your learning so you will definitely get a chance to do a free clients freelance kind of work also right as you have got yes yes Also, one more thing uh, that I would like to share with you, Shashank, and all the aspiring data analysts. Even uh, apart from freelancing projects, I got the opportunity uh, to teach the aspiring data analyst live. Right? Many people approached me uh, as they wanted to get one-on-one -on -one sessions from my side. Although it was not my goal, but yeah, I must say that having a strong LinkedIn profile will get you a lot of opportunities. Right, right. So in this right. way, you were able to uh, do the hands-on also and keep revising your concepts also. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Okay. So I got many clients and I uh, taught them uh, one on one. Then and then uh, comes yeah. the education section. Then comes the key projects. Uh, now so, I would like to add one uh, point here. Uh, I I see many people are making random projects without even knowing the domain, without even knowing their interest. Right. So I would recommend. to uh, work on those projects only to under to only those projects in which you are genuinely interested right, right? right that completely resonates with the role you are applying for otherwise um, making any random projects will not work like let's suppose you are applying for a marketing role or let's suppose you are applying for sales role right, right. then make sure you are building the projects that completely relates with that domain okay right so so what uh, so overall how many projects you have mentioned over here I have mentioned four projects related to every skill, like Power BI, Excel, and SQL. So the first two are related to I think uh, SQL. Yeah, the first one is related to SQL, okay. and the second one is related to Excel. Okay. And the third one is related to uh, Power BI. Fourth one is also related to Power BI. Okay. Then the last is your achievements. Achievements, yeah. 
yeah so friends you can you have taken the like you have seen the overview of our profile so definitely you will get some idea how to prepare your resume as an aspiring data analyst so thank you rashmit for sharing the resume uh thank you so much shashank so talking about the opportunity at ey so how did you get the uh, like how did you get to know about this vacancy okay shashank i got this uh, opportunity through linkedin only uh, while i was actively applying for the jobs and uh, when i come uh, came across this opportunity uh, and after closely reviewing the job description i found that the job uh, role that is mentioned over there was perfectly aligned with the requirements i was looking for so was it was it mentioned that it is open for freshers no they required a uh, minimum 1 to 2 years of experience and still you applied right yes so this is again a learning from her so if you even if you are a fresher and if it is mentioned uh, minimum 1 to 2 years of ex- experience so you should apply for it if the job description matches with your profile uh, the way yes. she has done so rashmit on what on what all skills you got interviewed in ey and, and how many interview rounds happened so uh, basically i went through three rounds of interview in the initial round uh, i was given an assignment related to finance so basically they wanted to check my domain related knowledge right as you know there are plenty of opportunities available so basically the role was for a power uh, power bi developer after clearing the first round uh, i mean the completion of assignment i was called for the second round so what what you had to do in the assignment in the assignment uh, i need to prepare a finance report like i have a data set using and which, using which tool power bi okay fine yeah no and many uh, uh, questions mcq questions were there and okay. some few calculative questions were there related to finance so yeah now let's talk about the second round uh, i was called for the second round of interview it was basically with the senior manager and the manager so they asked me questions related to power bi and sql in power bi they asked me about the dax queries rls concept and calculating measures and columns fact table dimension tables and uh, in sql they asked me about joins joins concept and okay. sub queries basically so uh, while i was interviewing so uh, actually i have made a project portfolio of mine where i have listed all the projects at uh, one place so i showed them the website as well uh, so that they will get a uh, idea about me and my projects okay so like what actually skills what actually uh, i have worked so shashank this is my uh, project portfolio i have listed all the projects uh, at one place right all the skills like sql python power bi so on this particular platform so uh, like we can put uh, projects of all the skills like power bi excel sql and python yes basically uh, shashank uh, in order to use this website that is a card website so in order to use this website you first need to uh, connect all your projects through the github okay right so once you connect all the projects through github you can uh, just mention the link in this website so can you open any of the links and show how does it work yeah sure so basically this is a bank journals analysis using sql when you click on the detail section you can see that it will uh, redirect you to the github account okay when you click on a uh, bank journal project you will see all the codes as you can see okay. so this is about the sql project uh, what about excel and power bi how how is- how does it that work uh sure so uh this is a excel project right okay so when you click to view it to basically adds a snapshot of your dashboard you can uh, connect it through a link as well okay but actually i already mentioned these uh projects on my linkedin so i just mentioned the snapshots only as you can see and what about power bi the same way right yeah the same way So overall, how many projects you have mentioned over here? Uh, basically, six to seven projects are there. And what about the third round? What happened in the third round? So uh, the third round was with the director, director sir. So he asked me about the previous freelancing projects that I have worked upon, right? Like uh, how I contributed my valuable insights to the clients. So basically, it was overall about my previous projects, freelancing projects, I can say. And one very important question that uh, everybody will have in their mind is. how did you manage your two years of gap in front of them so shashank what i believe there is a misconception with the people that uh, if you have a career gap of one year two years or three years no company will hire you or they will see you uh, from a negative point of view which is totally wrong in my uh, perspective because if you have all the desired skills if you have the projects to showcase and if you have done you know if you have utilized your time properly your career big properly then no one can stop you right and uh, uh, this how did is you, 
how as yes. you said in the starting you you prepared for cat examination so how did you yes, yes. did you mention about this in the interview yeah i have mentioned about this as well i uh, i was uh, honest with them so they really appreciate the uh, you know you know my journey because uh, instead of uh, rejections uh, i i maintain the consistency of learning the new tools or new skills as uh, i have seen many people they just gave up after the you know after the failures and all what what advice would you like to give to all the spy analysts who are currently looking out in the mm-hmm. market Yes, Because, there are a yeah. few advices that I would like to give to all the aspiring data analysts. The first one is that uh, be consistent. See, Shashank, there are many people who started their journey, but only few ones can uh, maintain consistency throughout their journey, right? right? And the second thing is that don't let rejections demotivate you, right? Rejections are a part of life, right? just embrace the failures because rejections will prepare you for the next better opportunity right. right and the third one is which i believe uh, is that you should have a strong linkedin profile so thank you so much rashmi uh, rashmi for coming and sharing your journey definitely people will learn a lot from from your journey and they will get insights from you so yeah, thank you yeah thanks a lot to you shashank uh, for giving me this wonderful opportunity